Hey guys, what's going on? As always, I, you know, I just want to say, you know, I appreciate the love and support in the videos, man, or podcasts, or however you listen to it, it really does mean a lot. To be honest, bro, like, I just want to talk to you guys about Destiny 2. I'm, I'm not going to lie, man, like, I bought it recently, I want to say about a week ago, back when I, like, it was one of the first games I got when I got the PS4, so I think it might have been two weeks, no, I, you know, I don't know, I can't remember, but huge disappointment, man, like, coming from what Destiny had already had in the first game and how they almost perfected it in my eyes. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But they almost perfected it and then Destiny 2 to start completely over from scratch taking out everything that was in the original Destiny. You know, I'm kind of scratching my head a little bit on that one. But the main reason why I say like it's a big... I'm not going to say the biggest disappointment of 2020 because obviously it's been out for about two and a half years now i want to say almost three in september it'll be three but you know just seeing how they uh took out trials i mean when i first started playing it you know give or take like i was playing with my brother so i was having fun but it just seems like if you don't have the squad anymore like you did in uh, destiny one like where you could not necessarily find people but you know if your friends aren't playing it, like it doesn't seem like that's fun anymore and even like the missions like everything just seems so redundant now like i don't know if it's just me getting older with gaming again like i'm pretty young compared to probably some of you guys or we might be the same age but just like seeing how the downfall of destiny like came like it's it's extremely frustrating man because that game had everybody <laughs> like obviously you know it faces criticism and stuff you know with the lackluster content you know the rise of iron the i forget it was it was like the Wolves content or whatever. Again, like it's been a while since I played Destiny One, so I'm not even you know going to get into that. But just like playing the new one and seeing like the type of stuff they took out, like trials is gone. Uh, the only fun part that I still have fun with is Clash, because again, like I like Team Deathmatch, just like in Call of Duty. When you hear me complaining about stuff that's not on the Switch, <laughs> you know PS4 has all this stuff, so I I can't come in to PS4 with that, but. It's just interesting, man, you know, uh, you know, playing Destiny 2 and reminiscing about Destiny 1 and, like, trying to figure out how, I'm not going to say, like, a perfect game, but, like, a nearly flawless game, no trials reference there, <laughs> nearly flawless game, like, was, like, kind of, like, messed up. I'm not going to blame, like, Activision or anything, but, you know, it's kind of uh, frustrating, man, because if you think about it, you're like, dang, bro, like... They had they had it right the first one and then like they messed up the second one. And then, you know, now, you know, they're releasing DLC. Obviously it's like I think like 30, 40 bucks or whatever. But I don't know, man. Like it's just I don't know. Like as as a consumer, like it, it's kind of frustrating, but at the end of the day, like it is gaming. And you know, something's gonna come out like every day, you know, or every month or every year, like that people are gonna wanna play. So it's not really that big a deal. But I just thought it was interesting how like, you know, Destiny I might say it was praised as, like, the, you know, the best game of, like, the generation or anything, but, you know, it, it, I feel like it, it deserves a lot better than what it's getting, similar to the Switch situation, but, again, like, that's a whole, like, another video for another day, but I'm mostly, you know, discussing uh, Destiny right now, and just, like, my frustrations with it. Obviously, it's probably not going to matter, you know, it's two and a half years, almost three years now, you know, since we've... Well, since it came out, honestly, I didn't even have a PS4 when it first came out, so I can't even say, oh, dude, like, you know, this should be, should have been, like, I can't even say that. It's just coming back, you know, after the three years that I didn't have a PS4, like, almost, uh, just seeing, like, how much things have changed, just like, wow, man, <laughs> you know, but, I mean, there's so much games coming on the PS4, so I guess, you know, I'm not going to say Destiny's obsolete compared to it now, but there's a lot you know, better options for content as far as, like, that genre of game. I mean, you got Borderlands, you got Monster Hunter, you got other uh, first-person shooter RPGs. Again, like, those aren't first-person shooter, but again, like, grinding for gear, you know, fighting monsters, different species, like, all that stuff. So that's what, you know, I'm kind of talking about right now. But as always, guys, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support on videos or, you know, podcasts or however you guys are listening to it. And, again, like, do you guys think Destiny, like, fell off? Do you guys think it's going to come back? Are you guys, like, a little shocked about <laughs> Destiny 1 being so different to Destiny 2? 
you know, be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll get back to you guys when I can. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.